Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brian with Fishers Off-Road and today in the shop I'm answering some questions for some guys that wanted to know how to change out their wire rope on their winch with a synthetic rope kit. So here we go. Before we get started, there's a few things laid out here that you're going to need to make sure you have in place. First of all, you got your synthetic rope, your sleeve protector for your rope. Don't forget to put this on before you put your hook on. I've done that a few times. You've got your puck that you're gonna be putting on your synthetic rope to hold it on the drum. You want some sandpaper, something like a 220 grit, something just fine enough to get the burrs off the drum and get it cleaned up, or a Scotch-Brite pad that you can really kind of go over and smooth it out before you put your synthetic rope on there. You'll need some needle nose pliers. That comes in handy when you're trying to get the puck in there to uh, pull the synthetic rope through and anchor it in. We're gonna be swapping out the wire rope from an Axon 35. This is what it's going to look like this is an axon 35 s and the s just stands for synthetic rope the first thing you'll want to do is disengage your clutch so that way you can free spool the wire rope out when we're getting down here to the end you're going to see where the wire rope is in the drum and where the puck is and that's what's holding the wire rope in a lot of times guys will ask me, how do you put the puck in? And as you can see, this is a factory worn winch. This is how the puck is inserted. There's no real way to do this. You can put it in and it can turn sideways on you. I usually try and get the head of that puck uh, upright so that it sits flat in with my synthetic rope. But that's not always the case because as soon as you put pressure on it, especially with a wire rope, it can turn that puck. Really your ultimate goal here is to just get that wedged between there to keep your cable or your synthetic rope from pulling out over here. Now when it comes to getting this wire rope out of here, sometimes you can push on it. Just by pushing on it, I actually pushed it back through. So what you can do is you can just pull your wire rope through like that. And then you have your puck right here. Get your needle nose and pull that right out. Now since this is a brand new winch and it's never been used, the drum isn't really scarred up. See how we're just kind of smoothing it out. And then you can take your Scotch-Brite pad. And this is good for kind of just taking some of the burrs off that you got on there from sanding it. If you didn't have a, a really fine sandpaper, you might get a couple burrs. So the Scotch-Brite pad just helps to smooth it all off. The drum is nice and smooth. Now we're ready to put in our synthetic rope. Now what you'll see is you have a large end and a small end on your drum. And what you want to do is you want to put your rope in the small end bring out the large end because you're going to put your puck in there and then loop the synthetic rope back through and pinch it in that hole. Bring this in like this. Feed some rope through there. And we'll spin that around. All right, so now you have some rope right here. So this is our new puck. And you can see where the top of it is there and what I would consider to be the bottom. That's how it's shaped up like that. So what I try and do is I try and get my rope up in here and then I just kind of sit this puck up in there. It's okay if it lays there while you're pulling the rope in because you don't want it to pull through with the rope. So what we're doing is getting that right there, kind of push in on this a little bit, get that snugged in there. And it's all snugged in and pulled up in there. Okay, so that's exactly how you're going to want to put that in there. Now if we come around to this side, you can see the part of the synthetic rope that was taped off is sitting right here. So you're not really going to get much more rope than that through there. Now that you have your rope where you want it, you'll go ahead and engage your clutch. Whenever you're winching this in, you want to make sure that you winch it in on the bottom of the drum. If you winch it in from the top, your brake won't work on your winch. So you wanna make sure you come in from the bottom. You wanna make sure you just kinda keep a little tension on it and just line it up. A lot of times when you're running a wire rope, you'll see a roller fair lead used. Your roller fair lead's probably all tore up and chewed up from using a wire rope. So you'll wanna make sure you swap that out for a hoss fair lead so that way it's nice and smooth and it doesn't put any burrs on your rope and tear it up. 
Well, now that we got our hoss fair lead and our hook installed, one of the first things I would highly recommend you do is go out and stretch this before you use it for the first time, just like you would a wire rope. I always stretch mine and I seem to get a lot of life out of them. Another tip for you is when you put your hook on, you'll want to make sure you do it like this. Put your cotter key on the back side, keep the hook side nice and clean, so that way when you're winching, you don't catch that cotter key pulled out and then have your pin come out in a winching situation. There you go, guys. Hope that helps you out. If you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. We'll see you. Take care. Have a good one.